Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. Welcome to my mini mandala series. In these videos, I show you how to make beautiful little mandalas using a few basic tools. So I have my five inch by five inch sketchbook, but any paper will work. I have a micron pen and then a little graphite pencil and a blending tool for some drawing and shading. And I also have my coin, I'm using a penny, and then a little piece of scrap paper that I'm going to use like a ruler. Okay, you don't need anything fancy to do this, just a couple of writing utensils and some paper, and then something to start our mandala. And I'm going to begin with pencil today, not pen. All right, I think I'm gonna zoom in here just a little bit. There we go, okay. So I'm gonna put that coin in my on my paper somewhere and I'm going to trace it with pencil. And then I like to divide this in half. So I put a line across the center and then a vertical line in half that way. I also like to divide these quadrants in half. So you just wanna kind of make sure that these sections are fairly even. So I just go out nice and light so I can adjust it later. If you're off just a little bit, it won't really show up until you're out further. So just try your best. Okay, that is our basic mandala grid that we always begin with. And then today we're gonna to do something I, that I think is a little bit fun. We're going to put a square in here. We did it, um, I don't remember, probably 10 episodes back we did some squares and I just thought it was a fun thing to do. So we're going to do it again. All right, I'm gonna grab my little piece of scrap paper and I'm going to set it right on the outside edge of that circle. And look at how you can already tell how off my line is, but that's okay. All right, and then I'm going to give myself about a pencil width, and I'm gonna put a little dash on the paper and onto my sketch. I'm gonna skip this one for now, and I'm just gonna go to the side and do that same thing. Skip this one, go to the bottom, Put a little mark, skip that one, and go to the side. Okay, now what we want to happen is we want to make this square. So I'm going to just very lightly pencil in that top line and pencil in that bottom line. And then I'm gonna do the sides and this side over here. Look at that square we made. Isn't that amazing? I always think this geometry stuff is so cool. All right, so there is my square. If you need to adjust it in any way, go right ahead. We're using pencil. So we can adjust it if we want. All right, now I'm gonna to switch to pen. And this is gonna be kind of fun. This is gonna be very different than how we usually create mandalas. So I'm kind of excited about this part. Let's zoom in a little more. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line on each side of that pencil line. So really close to it, I'm gonna make this little parallel line. I'm gonna do that on the four sides. Like I said, this is an unusual start for us. This is not how we usually start. All right, I'm gonna turn my paper a little bit and I'm going to take this parallel line right here and I'm gonna curve it over to this one. Okay, so watch how I do that. I'm just gonna curve it over to that one. All 
And then I turn and I'm going to go on this line and curve it over to this one. And this one to here. And this one to here. I think it looks pretty great so far. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the top of these parallel lines and I'm going to start at this one on the right and I'm gonna go over and then I'm gonna go down and meet that line. Leave a little space and then do this one over to this one. And that one to there. All right, how did you guys do? Did you make it that far? It looks completely different than anything we've ever done. Okay, in the center where the, all these lines meet, I'm going to put a circle or an orb, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of a reflection in the corner. And then I'm just going to ink in the rest. Then I'm going to put a dot, a smaller dot, and a tiny dot. If you can fit three, do three. If you can only fit two, then just do two. So a larger dot, smaller dot, tiny. Larger, smaller, tiny. Larger, smaller, tiny. Okay, all right, for this next part, let's start up here in this corner area. I'm going to begin, so now you can see my pencil line is off a little bit, so I might wanna draw that in so that it lines up with the corner now. Okay, then I'm going to go on the side of the line, kind of like we did up here, and then I'm going to swoop out away from the line, and I'm gonna go on this side and swoop out a little bit as well. Got that? If yours is a little bit wider or narrower than mine, it's okay. All right, and then I'm going to put an orb or a circle right in there at the top. And then I'm going to put smaller ones all the way down until it gets filled up. I'm going to take my pen and ink in these little extra areas that are left in that space. And I'm going to add an aura, which is just a line beside each of those sides. Okay, then we're gonna go over here. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start way down here at the bottom. And we're gonna go up and out, up and out. Mine are not even and it's okay. Put an orb in and then smaller orbs. Ink in those extra little areas and add an aura on each side. And we're going to come over here, up and out, up and out. 
I'm going to put my auras in right now. And then I put in those circles all the way down and ink in around them. All right, I've got one more section to do over here. Up and out, up and out. Aura, aura. Fill that space with your circles. Ink in the extra pieces. grab um, an eraser. I have a better eraser somewhere, but I'm not sure where it is. I'm just going to use the eraser and my pencil, and I'm going to erase that very first circle that we made. And the little lines in the center. And I'm going to erase those diagonal lines that are inside this box. Keep the outside one. All right, I'm sure some of you are like, what in this world? This does not even look like a mandala, but I promise it'll get better. And I just think it's so cool and so unique. Okay, so for this next part, we're going to take our pencil and we are going to draw a circle around this box. That sounds kind of scary. So what I'm gonna do, wrong pencil, grab my graphite pencil, and I'm going to just basically make a circle that touches each of these corners, okay? So very lightly, I'm just gonna kind of pencil it in, and then I'm going to just play with it and try to get those sections to be similar in height and width till I have a pretty decent circle. How did yours work? If you end up with like um, your square and then you feel like your circle is more like this, it just means that you're making these too high. You need to make them nice and low so they curve and touch, okay? So just make these a little lower. All right. Once we have that in, we are going to ink it in. So I'm going to, no, I'm not going to ink it in yet. I'm not gonna ink it in. I'm just gonna leave it for a minute. Okay. So now we've got this little parallel line with this space. And what I want to do is I want to come up from this right hand side and I wanna go out and I wanna go out on this one. Does that make sense? And then I'm going to go up and up and make that little diamond shape. I'll go to the next one. Kind of going up and out, and then putting on that top. Out, out. 
out, put on a top. At the top of these, I'm going to put an orb that kind of matches the center, but is smaller. I'm going to add a little reflection in the top and ink that in. Do that on all four of these. Little reflection, ink in the rest. Okay, inside of here, I'm going to put a small diamond and ink that in. And I'm gonna put a little dot below it and a little dot above it. Same thing over here, put that little diamond in the middle, ink it in, little dot above, little dot below. Diamond, dot, dot. Diamond, all right. Now we're going to ink in that pencil line. So when I, I turn this a little bit with this corner pointing up, I want to go from this edge here, try to touch that point and come over to this one. So my line is already there. Just need to sort of ink that in. And if you're not comfortable doing that, um, you know, you can just keep it in pencil. It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. What do you think? We're back to being round again. That's exciting. Okay, I'm going to fill in these little areas that we just made. And I'm just going to fill those in with really thin, delicate lines. This is adding a bit of texture to a piece that has a lot of white and a lot of bold things happening. Just keep adding those little lines. Loosen the grip on your pen a little bit so you're not pushing down too heavy. There we go. All right, if you need to press pause for a minute so you can catch up, go ahead. And the next part that I add is just our regular bumps like we do 
so often. Uh, one thing we could do is add an aura to give some space before the bumps if you wanted to, but um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put my bumps in. So I'm just going to make them about this height. So our mandala has a lot of straight lines and some circles happening. And these bumps are just a fun way of changing that up a little bit and adding a little finishing touch to the outside. And inside each of those, we're going to add a little dark circle at the bottom. And this may feel a little tedious, but these mandalas are meant to be meditative and relaxing. And sometimes all that drawing in the center might be a little stressful. And so now we can just breathe and add these little circles that don't take a lot of thought. I like this little dark areas. It matches the center of our piece. It matches that little outside edge of those diamonds, bringing it all together. All right, there we go. What do you guys think? I don't know. It's not my usual flowery one. I admit that, but I do kind of like it. All right, let's do some shading. Grab my pencil here, and I'm going to shade, first of all, that cool shape we've made in the center. I love that our circle is gone, and we created a completely unique shape. So we're going to put some graphite right along that inside edge and the inside edge of this next one and this one and one more. I'm going to take my blending tool and soften that and push it out. just want to soften these enough so they don't look like they've got a sharp edge. Okay, then I'm going to put it on both sides of these little pieces that we did. I want it right up against that line, right against that line on both sides. And then we're going to push that out. 
just a little bit. And look at that layering that is happening. We've got this layer on top, then we have these things down below. That looks pretty cool. Okay, now I'm going to put some on the inside edge of these whole shapes over here with the lines. And I'm just going to soften that the slightest bit. It doesn't even need a lot of graphite. See how that just kind of darkened those little areas? I'll do that all the way around. So inside edges where the striping is. I'm going to go ahead and just do it all the way around and then I will soften it. And by doing this, we're just kind of pushing that area to the background. Some of my sections are larger than other ones because of my the inaccuracy of my circle, and I think that's okay. That's what makes these so magical, is that they are handmade. Look at that. All right, I'm going to do one more thing. So I love to aura, and we've got all these aura lines in here. So I'm going to aura this outside edge. And again, it may seem a little tedious to go over all these bumps, but I really want to do it. And I'm going to even aura around these little diamond and circle shapes. So I'm going to begin over here, just going around these bumps. And then when I get over here, I'm just going to put an aura around that whole thing. And I'm going to keep on going. If you don't like the look of that, you can just have your aura stop at the diamond and you don't have to aura that, that larger piece if you don't want to. Keep going. Okay, I don't know why, I just like that. Gives it a little finishing touch. And then I'm gonna take my blending tool that already has some graphite on it. And I'm just gonna add a little bit to this outside edge. I'm not gonna worry about putting more graphite down. I'm just taking what's already on there and adding the slightest little bit of a shadow. I'm going to take my eraser and erase these outside lines. That is our mini mandala. I get excited about ones like this because I feel like this is wholly unique. You're not gonna see another mandala like this. It's unusual, it's got unique lines. 
I love that we made that circle in the middle disappear. I love the layering of this. So I think it's a really fun one. It's not my favorite. I really like the floral ones, but um, we're on episode 54, you guys. We need some new techniques and some new ideas. So I like this um, idea and I like playing with these longer shapes with the orbs in them. It's just kind of fun. So if you want to make yours a little more, um, you know, frilly, you could add in some spirals. You could add in some like little leafy petals if you wanted to. Um, I am going to put a reflection in those large orbs because they're a little too, too white. Okay, there we go. Put in my initials down here. And as always, I'm going to write episode 54, I'm going to write the date, and I'm going to write a sentence about what's going on in my life. So I am making this on Sunday evening. Um, I live in the USA, in the state of Michigan, where the Lions just played tonight and lost. So it's a big deal that we made it this far in the NFL. And um, we lost, so I'm going to write that. My whole family was just at a big party um, watching the game tonight with all of our relatives. So kind of a fun night, but sad that we didn't, didn't, let, didn't win. But um, just write something that's going on in your life. Just a little quick note, something funny, something happy, something sad, doesn't matter. But fun to look back on these journals when you're done. So I hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did, and we will see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.